All right, so the next lesson is publishing your application. Something that we should talk about before we discuss publishing your application is actually saving your application. Whenever you create a new application, even from a template like this, I would actually recommend that you save it right away. So let's do so now. We'll click on file, we'll hit save. Um, now I've actually already done this. The first time that you save, it's gonna ask you to give it a name. So in this case, I, I called it Power Apps Training 01234 to make sure it's unique within my environment. Power Apps will actually automatically save your application every two minutes. In fact, if you go into settings for your project, I'm here on safe, if I click on settings here, there's actually a setting that we can change. If we scroll down, you can see auto save. Save changes every two minutes. This is a browser level setting and it's defaulted to be on. However, if you never do an initial save, Power Apps doesn't have a name to use to save it to your environment. So it's actually really important that you do this early on so you've got a good history of saves. All right, so here we are in the application. Now you can always go to the file, pull down menu and click on save here. And once it saves, you'll get an option to publish. Beside the publish button, you've got to see all versions. If you click on that, you're gonna see a listing of all the different versions that have been saved. And the very first version is live or as published. So somebody, if you were to share this with someone, they would see this latest version that actually has this live beside it. Now, if we go back and we click on publish, it says publishing will make this version available to everyone who has can use permission. So I'm gonna click on publish and now I can click on see all versions and we'll probably see something different here. As you can see, the very latest version has live. Now, something they don't mention here within this lesson screen is the idea of sharing it with people within your organization. Let me show you that. So if we go down to the file pull down menu and go to share, brings up a new browser tab. We'll see that uh, I'm the owner. A lot of times what I like to do is actually share it with everyone within the organization. So that will keep me from having to type in, let's say there's 20 people that I know need to use it, or it might be 200. Instead of typing everyone's name here, I just type in everyone. And then within the, the application, if there's a people that shouldn't be able to access it based on some role or, or anything, I actually handle that within the application. To share this, a lot of times, if you wanna share it with everybody in the organization, if you have hundreds or thousands, you probably don't wanna email everybody. So I would recommend unchecking that for the most part. And then uh, just clicking share, you need to make sure they have access to the data sources that the application uses. So I'll go ahead and click share, there we go. Now, if you click on this left side of the screen, you can actually get at the link that you can send somebody. So since you've shared it with everybody, if you send this link to somebody in your organization, they should be able to click on it and get your application. Just keep in mind that they're gonna see the last published version of your application, not the last saved version, unless they're the same. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.